Jake Paul stepped forward and paid everybody on the card half of their show money. Now, how accurate any, anything that I just said is, don't hold it against me. I'm as good as the information that I'm being given, and this is the story going around on Twitter right now. Jake Paul is taking the entire card, who largely in this industry has two different incentives. You have what's called your show money, which is what you get to show up, and then you have a win bonus. So everybody on the undercard, I don't know how many fights that was. That's going to be roughly 10 fights, which makes for 20 people excluding himself. He's basically given out 19 checks. Was that the right move? Do you guys think that was a cool move? And I imagine that you do. The few of you that know the story. I just did my level best as a professional to tell it to you. I'm not even positive I'm right, which is one of the key reasons that this was a really bad move. You're, when you treat people as though you're partners, right? It's got to be one or the other. Jake Paul is not doing that to be nice. If he was doing it to be nice, we wouldn't have heard about it. That's how good deeds are done. That's how good gestures are done. You ever see the guy goes down to Skid Row and he's handing out sandwiches? But then he brought his buddy to film it and he puts out on his social media. They did right? I mean, it kind of takes away. So if Jake is attempting to buy something for goodwill, is his bang worth his butt? No, this was a bad move. This, this is money not well spent. Don't forget, he's attempting to do right by a community that just burned him twice. It's the same community that just burned him twice. And, and how do you come to the figure that I'm going to give you half of what your show money is? I mean, there's not a single fighter that's going to be there and say thank you as opposed to wondering why they didn't get the entire thing. There's not going to be a single one. So right there's your first problem. Moreover, how do you get to that deduction? How does the co-main event end up with a six-figure gift? And the guy jerking the curtain at the front of the night is going to get a four-figure gift. If you were to put them as to why the co-main gets half, half a million dollars and the guy starting the night is getting 500 bucks, if you were to do it, that, that would be very easy to explain because of their notoriety, because of their experience, because of how much they could bring in. I understand all of those things. That's not what happened here. Nobody's notoriety. Nobody brought in anything. You're basing on what is the right thing to do for people that were counting on a paycheck and had a training camp. For somebody who were expecting something that you put your name on, got to take care of their trainers, their cutmen, their coaches, their gyms. Do all of those things make perfectly good sense. I think that it's, it's a very sweet thing to do, but they're all dead even, which is why if you came in and gave everybody on the card 10 grand, you're paying a fraction of what you actually paid. You're getting the same goodwill and you're actually covering the deeds that you set out to do. As opposed to rewarding a community who has done such a poor job of thanking him or spreading the goodwill that he was hoping to buy that I don't even know that I've got the story right when I'm telling it to you and it's my job to know. I've looked for this and re-looked for this. I can't get the people on the card to tell the same story, right? Jake's not handing that money out. This wasn't to be nice. That is what you do quietly. That is what you, you go and you wire to a guy's account. When you do it and you make it public, you're trying to buy some. I mean, I, I realize that I'm being a little bit redundant here, but there's still a question, was that the right move? No, it was not the right move. It was frivolous with your money. Are these your partners or not? Do they work for you or are you all partners? The boss is whoever's writing the check. Simple as that. I get in situations all the time where somebody wants to be the boss. They try to throw that. Are you writing the check? Well, no, I'm not. Then you're not the boss. Zip it. It was very sweet and kind of Jake, but I am talking about an industry that has standards. There are mistakes that are made all the time. There has been a number of good men that have stepped into this space with the right intentions. And they thought they were going to do something different. They thought they were going to disrupt the space. They were going to be the right one. It's a really weird spot. That Jake's fine himself. And I'm not here to second guess Jake. And I, of course, don't begrudge anybody that got those checks. This is really good. I'm taking it from a different perspective. We can all sit around and give, give, give a silent round of applause and act like that was the right thing. And we, we all would have done that. At the same time, there was a box office that was reported waiting for a million dollars. Now, MSG disputes that and says it was going to be a top 10 draw in the last decade and a half. That's a quote by MSG. But we're hearing haters say that he had a million dollars waiting for him and just to rent the building is going to cost half of that. Is there any part of you guys that have a problem with that math? Because when that rumor came out, I, I have been stunned how many of you jumped on that bandwagon. 
to say, well, it's a half a million dollars to rent MSG and he's only got a million dollars in ticket sales. I'll take that deal all day if you don't want it, please. Please find me as many of those opportunities for me to give you a half a million dollars and you return a million dollars to me, please. For all of you that, that think that that's silly or think that that's bad, that there's a conspiracy or that you've really seen through, please bring me those offers. I'll go two for one all day. But I am wondering how long Jake is going to go down the road getting bad advice from the wrong people. There was plenty of time. The, the, day, the moment that you cancel this is the moment that you make this announcement. There was time. There was back and forth. There was meetings with people. Somebody thought this was good. Whoever advised him to pay half of the purse, that guy's got to go. That's just simply not how this is done. You're all in this together. It can't just be the front man that put all the ideas up, who's just lost million dollars in marketing and now has to cover the purse. That's why, I mean, it just can't be that way. And I know we love to put out this narrative that it's about the fighters and without the fighters and none of us have anything. What about the building? What about the guy that was going to work security that night? What about the, the good men and women that were going to clean it up? What about the good women and women that were, that, that were going to pop the popcorn and heat up the hot dogs? Put the ice in the cups, put soft drinks on top of that. They're all out of night of work. Are we going to go around and give everybody 50% of what they could have got? No, of course not. We're not going to, none. Lights, cameras, action. What about all the people that come into this? What about the valet? I mean, I, I could go on and on to the distributions and the networks that got already printed up the t-shirts and was hoping to sell those out there on 6th Avenue. We're not going around and giving them all half. We're going to kick the can. We're all going to take this thing together. We're going to find some other place. We're going to fill this up. And all the people that I promised to fight that I was going to put on the cart, I'm still going to come through with that. I'm just going to have to do it on another night because I got burned by the first ever actual boxer that I tried to do business with. There is one human being. There is one human being. It's not Top Ramen's grandfather. It's not Top Ramen's mother. It's not Top Ramen's father. It's not one of Top Ramen's brothers. There's one human being alive. Whoever said to Top Ramen, I'm going to give you a million dollars. I am going to make you a millionaire. I am going to make you a star on top of it. That person that said those words to Ramen is public enemy number one of Raman. Raman is coming down on Jake. He's attempting to bury Jake. He's doing all these negative things to Jake. He's doing these things to the one person who ever said the most beautiful words he's ever heard, which is, I'm going to make you a millionaire and a star to boot. That's the industry that Jake is finding himself in, and he's getting terrible advice. Amanda who was Jake's own girl. She came out, she tried to defend him. She said something beautiful on Twitter. She said, these things happen all the time. I'm with the right team, everything's great. Now that was very nice of her to say. It's a very sweet sentiment. I have been following this sport longer than she's doing it. I don't know of a car this has ever happened to. I don't care if you're talking about your YMCA, your local pal club down at the dog park. If you know a show and it got canceled on boxing, go ahead and include it on the list. I, of course, am speaking to anything that was televised and scheduled for pay-per-view. In my history of following this sport, which began when I was nine years of old and on memory like a steel trap, there has never been a boxing pay-per-view canceled. Feel free to correct me. Amanda says in this industry, it happens all the time. That's an exact quote from her. It's a very sweet thing for her to defend her guy. Is that true? Is there anyone that's going to level with Jake Paul? Is there anybody that's going to be straight with him here? including the fans on social media who he apparently listens to that buy the stories, didn't come and buy tickets to the event. I get that that's back and forth. But that thing either had great sales like MSG says it had, or it didn't. It's one of the two, and he would know the answer. That's the very community that you're attempting to appease. Is there anything that that community has done, including advisement, that has served you? I'm asking the simple question. I don't have the answer. Paying half the card, making, I, the whole thing's weird. It's not sustainable. You cannot go around doing that. Making it in this space in the first place is very rare. There are five human beings alive that have put money into combat and come out with an ROI, just so you understand that. Everybody becomes a fight expert. There's five people walking this earth of 7 billion men 
who have put money into combat and got a return on their investment. There are certain things that you just can't do, and there are certain people that you just can't listen to. It's not sustainable. And I only come at you like this because I want it to work. I don't think that Jake did anything wrong. I think that Jake did everything right. I think this is very kind. I do think he deserves a pat on the back. That, that was a massively stand-up thing to do, to pay everybody on the undercard. But as much as I'm sitting over and telling you, first off, it's not sustainable, so it's foolish. Second, you're now their boss. You're not their partner, so we've just made that really clear. How are we getting to the deduction of half? What is it that the person that was going to be fourth on the card did leading up to this that the person that was going to jerk the curtain at the beginning of the night didn't do? And now you run into a problem. See, now people are being scumbags. Now you're looking a gift horse in the mouth. The number one thing that I would never do and I have never done to anybody that's ever been nice to me as I'm attempting to regurgitate this piece and tell it for you, I'm having to do it. It's the way that it works. None of them are going to be grateful. None of them are going to have your back in the future. And now you just went in the dirt X amount of money. It's not sustainable, which is why you can't do it. And whoever advised you to do it has got to go.